All right, everyone, it's so great to see you, and thank you for joining us, the show that asks you to pull out your chairs, get out your books, and join us at the table. Today, we're going to be doing a special build. Uh, it's been a little while, so I'm looking forward to see what weird, unusual creature or person that we can put together, so stick around and, and uh, help us or enjoy the build together. Uh, that being said, let's do a quick introduction and then get right into it. Mr. Michael Powell, please tell them who you are and where they can find you on that sweet, sweet internet. Well, I am Michael Powell, and you can find me all over the internet on my social medias, which is usually at Mr. Kapow. That's M R K A P A O. And how about you, PJ? My name is PJ McGaw. You can find me all over the internet at PJ.McGaw. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Come find me. Come friend me. Let's have fun. And now, without further ado, please get out your thinking caps and your pencils, and let's create something very weird. At the table. Let's get to it. With a build, we haven't had a build in a long time, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Uh, we, before, of course, uh, we talked, we asked you guys, like, you know, get your ideas ready and let us know what it is that you want to build. Uh, we'll build it together. Oh, I see Adam Generator in the chat. So awesome to see you, Adam. It's been a while. And Avenging Penguin, uh, definitely got your note, but don't build anything you wouldn't build at the Curse of the Sand Sea. That, that was a fun rune. That was a disgustingly yeah. fun rune. I have that actually right here as we speak. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking at my notebook here. Uh, so we're going to do a build. Let us know if you have any ideas in the chat uh, about what you want to build as a group. And if you don't have any ideas, don't worry. I have a prompt, or at least a limited prompt. Mm -hmm. uh, but before we do that, I see Adam Generator saying, good to be here, been busy with university. That's awesome. I'm so glad your college is going well. At least I hope being busy means it's going well. Uh, and I hope, when do you go on summer break? Is that like, is that like to now? Like now? <laughs> yeah, now? What? Well, okay, so we're in America, and I believe Adam Generator is in a different, um, a different country. Yeah, so Yeah, South America, I believe, somewhere down there. Yeah, uh, they say it's going well. Thanks. Glad to hear that. Glad mm -hmm. to hear that. Uh, I'm already at summer, oh, you're already at there summer break. There Great. Goes. I hope it's not too hot where you are, because I know... At least for us, SoCal uh, natives, Woo, we're melting. Oh. We're melting. It's been it's been on average about ninety five degrees with like a high of one hundred and three. Mm. Yeah, but it's rising. It's <clears throat> rising. Oh, yeah, it's rising. At least we don't um, have bad humidity. That's what's what I'm thankful for. Very true. Very true. Oh, Adam Jenner is saying it's winter. Yeah. Sorry, I mixed up the words. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Oh, you're from Argentina. Finals in a week and a half. Mm -hmm. eh, it's quite all right. Uh, ooh, Pengu Chan is the thing. Uh, I'm going to cheer you guys with waffles and syrup. Sorry, <laughs> not sorry. Well, Pengu Chan, uh, you tell them that we love them and we will see them soon. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Pengu Chan. And we can't wait to see you guys with waffle maple syrup in a few minutes. Um, but before that, all the hearts back to you. Uh, before that, uh, so if you don't have a prompt, let's do this. We want to do an NPC. It's been a long time since we built an NPC. Uh, in fact, I think the last one that we built may not even be in this notebook. I think it's on my old Grundy mm. one. Uh, no, mm, actually, no, here we go. The last one that we made at the table was the Cajun Azricotti mm. Catfish. Oh, I remember or that one. Aquaman, the Azricotti Beeskin and Muted Heritage. Rogue Scoundrel, the background of Charlton, about level five. Uh, Gaujon de la Fo. Yeah, Gaujon de la Fo. That was his name. Well, right now the party is in back in Adelphon Prime, so mm -hmm. maybe something that fits Adelphon Prime, maybe because we're gonna be here for a, a little bit, probably. Probably, yeah. We'll see. We'll see where where you guys take the story. But let's talk about NPCs. Uh, so, again, this will be entered into the next wave of NPC competition. If you remember mm -hmm. uh, Beauregard and Precious, uh, a.k.a. Priscilla, they were the first NPCs that won the vote that entered and became a real character in the mm -hmm. Edge of Legend universe. Uh, we're going to be doing that again. Yep. We have this Cajun catfish thing here. <coughs> uh, do you guys want to build uh, I mean... a, a religious character, a killer, a religious killer, a hunter... Some, someone in the black market that uh, certain someone could uh, use. 
<laughs> do you, yes, do you want to build someone for Michael Powell's character to have as a connection? Uh, Adam Jenner was saying, so basically the one I saw the last time I was here. Yes, it's, it's been a while, Adam. I think the last time you were here, we did build the catfish together. A fake religious killer. Ooh, I kind of like that. Like someone who's like kind of using the religious trappings as so, like a deflection. another charlatan. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. Well, first off, uh, you know what? Let's really quick. Ch ch I always believe um, checking out the backgrounds is a good way to kind of start the foundations of a good NPC. What do you think, PJ? That. I think that's definitely one way to do it. Yeah. Ooh, there, uh, here's a here's a um, here's a background that I don't see used very often in games. A bookkeeper. You don't get bookkeepers too often. Also, I love Adam Generator's offer of a vigilante. That really, with the bookkeeper and the the killer aspect, a vigilante could be a very interesting archetype. Ooh. Ooh. This could be Alona's arch nemesis. Her, her <laughs> antithesis character. I yeah. love it. Uh, so I'm gonna put these little little notes here. So we have a bookkeeper background, and uh, for those who don't know, um, one of the, the what is it? The feats that uh, you get access to as a bookkeeper is a it's a feat called Eye for Numbers, which is it's not as powerful as some of these general feats, but uh, it's pretty interesting. I I'm curious. I want to know. So we have the vigilante archetype bookkeeper background what would the primary class be mm. do you want to make it like a rogue you know so it's really about like the assassination stuff do you want to make it a monk and you get like kind of like a cool like a like a cool batman moon knight daredevil kind of vibe do we want to make it um do we want to make it a cleric a cleric vigilante bookkeeper i mean that's that's really interesting if you think about that I, I would not be mad with either a cleric or, ooh, if this is going to be the antithesis of Alona, mm -hmm. a champion whose uh, cause could be uh, either what do you, dese desecrator or anti-paladin or tyrant. I see that. I... I want to. I uh, I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I definitely love the absurdity of what Adam Generator just suggested. Uh, a a giant instinct barbarian that uses a really large book as a weapon. I love weird weapon choices. I feel like that is such strong character choice. I don't know if it works for this vigilante, but I freaking love it for like a later character concept. It's great. I mean, um, honestly, if we're going towards, if we are going through a build of anti Alona. The Negaduck to Alona's Darkwing Duck mm -hmm. of the of the causes, I think Desecrator would actually fit pretty well. I mean, it could. Point counterpoint, though, she's a cleric, not a champion. So, what if we chose a war priest? Because she is a cloistered cleric, right? So, what if we take the instead of like the pacifist version of the faith? We take like the militant version of the faith, um, so they have similar spells, but like you know that way it's direct conflict. You know I, mean, what I mean, we we could do that. I, I'm just looking at the desecrator uh, cause uh, mm -hmm. ability. It's called selfish shield, and uh, they also gain yep. a touch of corruption. I think that is very anti Alona. <laughs> I think to a degree, yeah, but I mean, like that's also just one thing. Like, like for example, it it, it feels to me more like it'd be like a if you want to talk about anti someone, it'd be more like an anti morel, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, but we could still have all of that thematically ooh, with a war priest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just thought of something. We could we could do both because we have the morel and Lona pairing. Mm -hmm. The opposite of them would be a pairing of also. A cleric and a champion, but it would be flipped. I do kind of like that. So, like the the Alona antithesis could be like a war priest, uh, like a like a a, no, no. a lawful evil war priest, and then the champion would be the desecrator. No, no, the 
the anti Alona would be the champion, and the anti Morel would be the war priest. Okay, uh, that's 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 an idea. I don't I don't see why we have to change the the class to make it an antithetical to the character. I don't know. I I just thought, at least to me, I think uh, the desecrator would be a, a great counterpoint to Alona's choice yeah. cleric. I mean, I mean, the Desecrator, I'm not going to get you wrong, the Desecrator is a really cool thing. And it definitely does speak against her and Morel's kind of, like, ideology. Mm -hmm. uh, Caleb had a really interesting idea. I kind of like this. I don't know if you want to use this for this character or for a different one. They are a lawful prosecutor, and they throw the book <laughs> at people. Wait, isn't that Rufa already? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I see this is like Moon Knight, but instead of throwing, like, moonerangs, he throws books at people. Go! Bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> Random BS, go! Uh, okay, okay. So let me ask you guys this. Let me ask you guys this. Changing the conversation a bit. Oh, Adam Jenner is already down. Returning plus one large book. Okay, so... You know what? You know what? Let's embrace this ridiculous battle librarian. I'm oh. here for it. Let's make the vengeful... The, the, the vigilante lawful prosecutor... Uh, I don't know what that primary class is going to be. Do you want it to be a barbarian? Do you want it to be a fighter? Uh, what, what do we feel like that, guys? Oracle? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, let me see. Lawful Prosecutor uh, has one larg book. Throws the book at people. Because I was going to say either they, they could be a lore oracle or we could go like really messed up and go they burn books and go with flames or we could even go with um, ancestor uh, oracle where they, they come from a long line of barbarians and they get the lore from their ancestors. We could do that. Uh, seeing all the all the book jokes. I love it. Uh, the catchphrase, you forgot to return your books from Penguin Witch Doctor. I love it. Uh, Adam Generator loves the idea of making this a raging thrower barbarian. And Caleb says, book him, Dano. Oh, that's another catchphrase. I got to put that. Book him. Okay, okay, so. What, 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 what's, the, what's that lawful god you have called again? What's his name? The one that looks like Clint Eastwood? Oh, Iodex. Yeah. Book him, Iodex. <laughs> book of my decks i'm not gonna lie i kind of really super like the idea just because it's so weird right it, by that i mean like mechanically speaking it feel mm, thematically speaking it feels weird that a barbarian would also be like me put on mask and be vigilante at night uh so i'm kind of going with the barbarian bookkeeper vigilante I, I, I mean, that's, that's, that's a sentence right there. That is a very big sentence. I, I personally like the... Actually, I'm leaning more towards the lore oracle now. I'm, I'm going to actually agree with the chat, because like the chat seems to really want this mm. barbarian concept, so let's, why don't we go with the chat on this one and make the barbarian the primary. Um, let me see. Barbarian. Barbarian primary class. And now, we said giant instinct. Do we want that, or the spiritual instinct, or do you want like a the just the fury instinct? So you're you're just angry. You're just all the angie. Uh, superstition. Or, superstition could be interesting. I also like that about superstition because like if someone tries to cast magic on you, you can just throw a book at them and like no magic for you. Biff, right in the noggin. Um, while we're while we're doing that, um, waiting for some. Oh, Adam Generator, that is perfect. So, so we're going superstition instinct, because to quote Adam Generator, magic is fiction. I I mean, if you're going to have a battle librarian. That makes a lot of sense. Second superstition 
instinct. Thank you so much, chat. That's a really good chat build there. And I love the, the other catchphrase, magic is fiction. And also this is cool because we are we are really breaking away from the barbarian tropes here a little bit, right? Like barbarians are stupid. Ah, uh -uh, no, we're smart. You know, they don't like, they don't read books. I literally throw books at people. Um, now, birds fly, which is magic. Birds aren't real. <laughs> no, birds are just drones sent by the government. Uh, really fast. Michael Powell, let me know what you think about this. Caleb said they are a lawful prosecutor. Right, they throw the book at people. We're going down the book throwing thing. Right. Do we want to make this barbarian, who's a bookkeeper, and a vigilante by night? Do we also want them to be a legal, a legal prosecutor, like have like like lower law or something like that? I mean, we can, but my my only worry at this point is we're throwing too much at them. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting, it's getting, it's, you know how, um, th there is beauty in simplicity. Mm -hmm. There is also beauty in chaos, but when it's too chaotic, too complex, it's, uh, you make a good point. You make a good point. You know, there's beauty in chaos, but too much of chaos is not beautiful. It's destruction. So what we have right now is a... In that case, I'm going to put an X by lawful prosecutor. I think we need to drop that uh, character trope to make this work. Uh, we have a superstition barbarian vigilante who's also a bookkeeper whose weapon of choice in combat is this massive book they can swing to hit people or throw. Uh, they have catchphrases such as magic is fiction, book them or book them, Dano. Uh, and you forgot to return your books. I love this. So now I guess the question is, if they are a vigilante, that means they have to stand for something outside of the law to preserve the law. So what is their thing? Is it just how, books that are late? Because that seems a little... How, how married are slow. we to... How married are we to um, the whole... What do you call it? Um, to vigilante. Like, Are we 100% married with it? Because I kind of want to throw in two other archetypes that we actually work, I think, story-wise. One would be li linguist. Uh, or the other could be uh, eldritch researcher. So we could get some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, hmm. Oh, God, I am blanking on the name, but it's that town that we all hate. <laughs> oh, yeah, Dalton Shire. Yeah, Dalton Shire. Uh, Urban Dragon dies. Great to see the chat. Wish there was a librarian archetype. I want to say there's something similar to a librarian. It's I not... mean, there's a creepy librarian archetype, which is the Elrich Researcher. That, yeah, I was going to say, if something was in my brain for that. That could be... Eldritch Research would be... Uh, Penguin Witch Doctor makes a very good point. Eldritch Researcher would be anathema or anathema to superstition mm, instinct. True. So, So, but here's a cool thing. For every Moon Knight and every Batman... There's a Robin or a Moon Knight personality. Why don't we have uh, the Elders Researcher be like the sidekick or the partner mm. to this, 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 this barbarian vigilante bookkeeper? Uh, that? Adam Jenner says, linguist or lore master are the closest one for a librarian. I, I still huh. think linguists would be. I think a lone linguist one. If we do give them a sidekick, they would have to be a reoccurring character, and maybe they, when they become a reoccurring character, then they introduce their sidekick. When we were first introduced to them, they're just. I don't. I don't think that's necessary. I mean, the 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 characters that won the NPC voting was literally a married couple. They, they were introduced together. They were created together. I don't see any problem with having a partner Batman-Robin duo. But if uh, are we still going with the Vigilante, or are we going now with Linguist? I, I think the Vigilante is kind of what created it down this okay. path. I think if we stray too far from that, we're just kind of... We're basically creating okay. a new character at that point. So why don't we stick with that? But 
I think this does prevent, uh, present a very interesting concept for like the partner. And now you have this really interesting playoff where like, you know, the partner who's a linguist, lore master, eldritch researcher, oracle, whatever, is like, but no, like Dalton Shire does exist. And then like the book man can be like, mm, sounds boring and gross, slams the book down. We shall throw our books at the crime wall of justice. I don't know. I can't. But you know what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, Adam Jenner says you could also take them as a fourth level feat from the Vigilante's social purview feat. Yes, I know you said that earlier. It kind of got lost in the shuffle. Um, but yeah, the fourth level feat for the Vigilante's social purview uh, to take the linguist or lore master dedication. Uh, Caleb says, party hard, uh, maximum, Caleb, is that supposed to be maximum chaos or maximum chaos? I think it's just ma- it's maximum chaos. I just, I just assume that he knows a word that I don't, because that's usually what happens. I'm like, these people are smart. They know words. Uh, Urban Dragon Dice says there used to be a barbarian archetype in 1E that was a librarian. That's really cool. What was that archetype uh, from and 1E? Cause... Was that a homebrew or... An actual official release, or was it like like a lore keeper? Like um, they kept mm. the stories of their people. Oh, oh bard, bard. bard. Yeah. Ah, be it very tricky. I I am no smirks. Am dumb. <laughs> well, you are love too, Caleb. Okay, so well, what? How about this? Uh, what level do we want this uh, barbarian vigilante librarian to be? Well, I think if especially they're gonna have a sidekick, I feel like they should be some of the double digits, like ten to twelve, um, and then the sidekick could be like six to eight. How do we feel about that? Hmm. I mean, we c- if we want to go simplicity, we could also just give them the minion guys. Wait, wait, never mind. Wait, Let's see. Also, grant me that there are other minion games. Oh, wait, I, I think. Oh. Yeah, though I think minion guys could actually work with the it's a vigilante level four uh, okay. feat. Cool. So basically, you you just create a minion to, yeah. to have, right? No, perfect. basically you disguise your minion. Uh oh, perfect. Yeah. So this this sidekick would be considered a minion, and you could mm-hmm. disguise them to go on adventures with you. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Uh, it's pretty so re- early, too. It's pretty early feat for them. Perfect. Well, all the more reason, like, Batman had to, like, take in Dick Grayson and then, you know, put him in the suit. And then Dick mm. Grayson grew up and became Nightwing. So, now, here's the hardest question of all. Before we make the uh, lore master, oracle, uh, eldridge, researcher, sidekick, what are we going to name Bookman? Bookman. Uh, I think you just named him Bookman. <laughs> Bookman? No, like, like, you know how they have, like, names of, like, Bookman? He's Bookman. Yep. He's Bookman. Now, now, here's the question. So he's a barbarian vigilante librarian, right? Uh-huh. Do we want to give him, a, like, a, like a, a name by day and by night he's Bookman? How, how do we want to play uh, that? It could be Booker Mans. Booker, Booker Mansfield. Booker yeah. Mansfield. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's see what the chat says about Booker Mansfield. B- booed bad. B- booed bad. I don't know what that is, but I love it. Um, Caleb says, I checked out for a sec. Are we making Chonky Phoenix right? <laughs> no, but now I want to make a Chonky Phoenix right. Uh, we're basically making like... Oh, God. I don't know how to describe it. A book-themed barbarian moon knight. Book bad. Book bad. Uh, the barbarian thinks it's a real boy. Maybe the sidekick could be a sentient attic whisperer of the library. <laughs> now, now I kind of want want to be um, the minion to be like uh, Johnny's character in Ed and Eddie Plank. <laughs> yep, I, I know exactly what you mean. Uh... It could be no, it, play, like Booker's uh, book sidekick can literally be a book with a like a mask tied around the cover. Okay, so, so what we have? Oh, do we decide the ancestry for this? Is it going to be a human? Like, what? What is this? Uh, the ancestry of this interesting class? 
demented dwarf. <laughs> a demented dwarf. Or a fetchling. Uh, it could be a fetchling or hobgoblin. Not gonna lie, I kind of like a hobgoblin because, like, you don't you don't see too many hobgoblins. Or or a malfunctioning Konrasu. A malfunctioning. Ooh. It, oh yeah. Yes, I do. I do kind of like that because oh, now I'm just seeing this like this this interstellar robot just being like like, see citizen and throws a book at someone. It's it's the it's a sentry bots from Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so it is it is a Konrasu. Um, do we want to make it a Konrasu Aphorite so it's like all about the law, like all about the word of the law? Now they, let's let's save that for the Phoenix Wright character. I, I yeah. love the Phoenix Wright. I was gonna character. say maybe making the the chaos version, that that that's the reason why it's malfunctioning. Mm hmm. Ooh. Okay. So Urban Dragon Dice says a Ganzi Konrasu. If I recall the Ganzi correctly, they are the chaos, chaos. people. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, that's the malfunction. It's it has Ganzi software installed into it. It it has a uh, Windows ninety five. But they didn't protect it from uh, the Y two K virus. All right, I am putting the full thing up here. Superstition, instinct, vigilante. Okay, so what we've made this amazing cluster today: a Konrasu Ganzi barbarian superstition instinct vigilante bookkeeper who who has one larg book throws the book at people has catchphrases like magic is fiction book them and you forgot to return your books they are about level 10 to level 12 and they have their minions uh Vo vox is the robot librarian from time machine i can't know oh, i'm thinking space odyssey uh pa page biblion oh i kind of like that name too oh you know what Page Biblion, that can be the name of their sidekick. Yeah. Their, their minion. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, what is it? Uh, oh, man, I'm just envisioning now that it's, it acts kind of like a... If anybody read the Dark Tower series by uh, Stephen King, this is Blaine the Mono. Nice. Um... Okay, has a psychic minion. I want to talk about the, the psychic minion because I know, uh, 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 Michael, you were you were really bringing up the Oracle a lot, and I think I love how antithetical the minion and the master are from each other. So I kind of love the and, and the interplay that creates. Honestly, I love the, the idea of like the the lore master Oracle Elders researcher. Honestly, at this point, because we were drifting on the whole you know edit edit and Eddie thing, mm -hmm. it's just a book. It's just. It's just like a regular book, but the Konrasu thinks it's an actual living person. You want that more than the, yeah. the other stuff? Yeah. Like I said, it's malfunctioning. Okay. And it gives that crazy, you know, that crazy Moon Knight type of thing, deal. That's, that's a good point. Okay. Uh, so thinks it's a person, literally just a book. Literally, it like, it, you know those uh, masks that's like, it's a strip of cloth with the eye holes? Mm hmm It ties it around the book when it goes out on its vigilante missions. Oh, gosh. And how silly would it be? Because, you know, you have that thing where you get to disguise your minion, right? Yeah. How silly would it be if no one could recognize the book because it had the mask, like, the little strap of fabric, Ninja Turtle mask, around yeah. the yeah. cover of the book? I was like, that book looks familiar, but I don't think I've seen it anywhere. And then there's the robot going, ha, 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 you have no idea how clever my disguise <laughs> is. Syntax error, use cutting word, touch of the maelstrom. I'm loving all those things, Dragon Dice. Those are really great. Um, Ty's mask around ooh, book. Ooh, I kind of want to wanna say, oh man, I kind of want to say the name of the book. I want to do it, make it like a riff on the Dewey Decimal System. Like uh, Dewey but, something. <laughs> That's 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 an interesting idea. Right now we have Page Biblion. Um, okay, how about this? How about this? So, because the book has to have all three egos too, right? Because the Conrad mm -hmm. is a little office rocker. By day the book is Page Biblion. By night, it's Dewey Point O. I'm down for that. 
Okay. Okay, by night, book is Dewey point oh. Okay, so, jeez. Okay, so this is the amazing thing that we've created. Uh, the Mecronomicon. Oh, Caleb, that's so good. Uh, for syntax of error, you guys, you're so darn talented. I hate it. You all, by the way, uh, Caleb, Adam, Urban, and Penguin Witch Doctor, you all get hero points to be turned in at a table of your choosing. I don't care the GM doesn't like it. Uh, binary Fireball, great to see you in the chat. So this is the crazy thing that we made up today, everyone. And feel pride, because we made this abomination together. Their name is Booker Mansfield. By night, they go by Bookman. They are a Kanrasu Ganzi barbarian, superstition, instinct, vigilante, bookkeeper, whose weapon is one large book that can be bashed, thrown, and returned. Um, their catchphrases are things such as magic is fiction and book them and you forgot to return your books and other such book related puns. Uh, the book itself is their minion, they believe to be a living person, that they have named Page Biblion. When they go out on vigilante night missions, they change its name to Dewey.0. Um, this, is, this is the giant robot barbarian monster uh, and I love him. He is great. Uh, PJ, I'm feeling something, but I'm pretty sure it's not pride. <laughs> <laughs> Look, sometimes, sometimes when something is so bad it's good, there's a special kind of pride you take in the weird things that you can make. So I, you know what? I think our Cajun catfish uh, gambler is is going to be up some up against some stiff competition <sighs> with Bookman on the scene. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on the people's faces in EOL when we do our second NPC vote, and only you guys in the chat today know who the hell Bookman is. I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at the party and just go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get Sydney looking at me. She's gonna think when she gets in the kit that she's like, PJ, did you really make a guy who throws books? Whose name is Bookman? And be like, not just me, but all the legends in the chat. I named him. <laughs> <laughs> I named him. <laughs> Listen, Frankenstein, when you make monsters, you can't be mad at the names you give them. That being said, everyone, <laughs> I'm loving the chat. Uh, it's funny that it's a Kenrasu because they are really weird and unique looking. Uh, this is the room of characters. <laughs> Urban Dragon dies to suffer the pain of indexing. Uh, everyone, it is about that time. Thank you so much for a great character build. This is going to be the weirdest thing if it wins the vote. Uh, and if it doesn't, I think we're just going to have a Q&A where we talk about these, these weirdos. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you here again. Let's do some exit tros, uh, and we'll get on with our raid. Mr. Michael Powell, please tell them who you are and where they can find you on that sweet, sweet internet. I am the dastardly, dashing, <laughs> conflicted feelings, Michael Powell. And you can find me all over the internet on my social medias, which is at Mr. Kapow, that's M-R-K-A-P-A-O. Or my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Michael Powell Does Stuff, because I do a lot of stuff. And you can also find me um, on Twitch on Thursdays via the Toyzilla Network channel for Toyzilla Live on Thursdays at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where we talk about toy news and nostalgia stuff, so hope to see you there. Nice. Hey, everyone, and my name is PJ McGaw. You can find me all over the internet at pj.mcgaw, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Uh, come find me, come find me, let's have a good time. When I'm not here with Mr. Michael Powell on Tuesdays from 3.30 to 5.30, you can find him, me, Sydney, Kylie, Sam, and Ian uh, for Edge of Legend, Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard, our Pathfinder 2nd Edition, homebrew show and uh one little fun announcement as well this thursday uh i believe if i can recall correctly about 6 6 30 p.m pacific standard time i will be appearing in a one shot uh 
just for funsies on a stream with Blue Collar uh, DM, Ashy the Bard, uh, Puffin Forest, and our good friends uh, Waffles from Waffles Maple Syrup. So if you like their TikToks or if you've seen Puffin Forest's uh, uh, YouTube, then come and join us for a little bit of fun uh, this Thursday, 6 p.m., I believe, on twitch.tv backslash the Bard's Playhouse. Should be on Ashy's channel and uh yeah and hope to see you then and until then uh see you same net time same net channel at uh the table bye everyone bye <laughs>